Previously on Previously Resident, on Resident Evil. Evil. What took you two so long? At least we're here. What's up with Veltro? What's up with Veltro? What's up with Velcro? Why don't we have it on our uniforms? It means we can scavenge the data on that radar. Oh crap. What We go. Mm -mm -mm. I hope they make a Re Revelations three. I would like to see Carlos Oliveira come back from Resident Evil three. That'd be cool. Or I mean, Leon is fine too if they want to do like a main character like like Chris and Claire and stuff. I'd be cool with that too. Uh, episode six, Cat and Mouse. But uh, let me know if you're watching this later on YouTube. Let me know in the comments below. Resident Evil Revelations 3, what would you like to see in that game? What kind of villains would you like to see? What kind of heroes or characters would you like to see return? Uh, if you say Billy Cohen, I will delete your comment. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Although I do hate Billy Cohen. But you can say Billy Cohen if you want to. Ark Thompson, Bruce McGivern, 11.16 p.m. All right, they found the... the Zenobia, the ship. Oh, yeah, okay, so it is, Jessica is the skimpy one. Yeah, look, she has, like, her thigh sticking. Look at that, her whole leg is exposed. Where could they be? <laughs> what a ridiculous costume. No, that's not, like, a, a white pant leg and a black pant leg. That's her leg, full on out, in the nude. Like... <laughs> Why? Like, I mean, just bare skin. Not She's not nude, obviously, but it's just the most ridiculous costume ever designed. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. I think, uh, what's her name had it, too? Um, uh, Rachel? I think Rachel had a a leg exposed. Because when, when you saw her monster form, it was, like, cleavage out. And then, like, I think she had a bare leg exposed, too. So maybe that was, like, their uniform. But what a ridiculous, like... The FBC and the BSAA are like super, super sexist. Um, or maybe not sexist, but they just love the female body. Let's just say that. All right. I'm just checking to see if there's nothing we can scan out here. Oh, look at that. There's a thing I'm a thing. Now's not the time. I got to find those two first. Well, you know what? Fair enough. They are about to drown, so. Oh, hey, we're starting off over here. Cool. Move out of the way, boobs. What if Veltro finds us first? Can we capture him and interrogate him? Wait, was that map there before? Oh, I left my partner up there. <laughs> She'll take the next one down. Um, yeah, no. And I wasn't calling her boobs like me being um, being the male pig. I'm as like a BSAA member. Um, Jomily says, darn phone. Previously on this stream, Jomily won the drinking game. Oh, wait, what's everyone drinking tonight? Dang it, Jom. Well, you know, I got Sprite. Um, Sprite. Pepsi. I wanted Sprite earlier. I got Pepsi. Congrats on your win. Cheers, cheers. All right. <laughs> Got to show the monster thigh, I guess. But she doesn't... I mean, hey, you know, if you work out, you might as well show it, but I feel like she... I feel like she only works out uh, one leg. There we go. Oh. These things going to keep coming or what? Like, is it pointless to shoot them?
Okay, it is a... Whoa! This one I have to kill now. So they're just endless, I guess. Let's go get secret stuff. I know we're supposed to save our friends who might be drowning, but come on, they can wait. They can wait a little bit. I'm having too much fun killing these things. It's leg day. <laughs> no, I dodged. I dipped. I ducked. I dodged. So here's that busted door. Is that a thing we can read? Nope. Oh yeah, we already read it as a uh, as Jill. Herbage. Is that it? Is it just the one guy? One monster left? percent all right that's it I guess there is an end to them I'm gonna have to scan her thigh at some point for no reason at all just saying. All right, come on, come on, come on. Move, move, move. Nothing to scan? Good. So... What is with this ship? I just hope that Jill and Parker are okay. They're like drowning or something, dude. Like that room is filling with water, I think. Right, so where was it? I think it was if we went through the bottom. Like if we go through here and we go, we stay on the first floor. I th and go, st well, we go straight through. Um, I think that's how we get to them. Right? Yeah. Come in, jackass here. Uh, hey there. Any idea where we can find Parker and Jill? Oh. Jessica? Um, yeah, oh. Uh, hold on. <laughs> He's talking to his girlfriend. I believe there's a problem with the engines. I'd wager they're in the ship's fields trying to get them going again. That makes sense. We'll head down there now. All right. Heading to the bilge. Uh, hey, girl, not to be weird, but can I scan your thigh? Hashtag, it's weird, John Lee says. <laughs> it's a little weird. The hell is that? I'm pretty sure there's something in there. Yeah. Whoa! No need to 
glove, just shoot it. One's dead already? Thank goodness. Oh, the other one's dead too. What do he have? The trident key. What's that? Use the trident key. Oh, okay. I guess we can't use the right. slot machine, so maybe they just need us to find another way. Oh no, a, a boomer. I know that's not what it's really called, because that's boomer is the name of uh, the the things that explode in. Uh, what is it? Left for dead. Why isn't it exploding? Damn it. Yep. Thanks for being nice enough to explode -y. Oh, good. That killed him. <laughs> well, slap me silly and call me Sally. It's Seek. <laughs> What's up? Dude, it's Joe after work. I was just talking about you earlier. I was saying that there's probably no chance we'll see you tonight because you're at New York Comic Con. And why in the hell would you take any time away from just even if you're sitting in your hotel, hotel room excited for tomorrow at New York Comic Con? Why in the hell would you take any time away at all for, for me? I don't get it. It's a crazy person's mind at work here, Joe, after work. Oh, hell no. I'm home. Oh, you're home. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you went to, uh, well, I guess you, that's right, you live there. <laughs> Every, when I think of New York Comic Con, I always think of traveling. Um, but yeah, I needed to see your beautiful face. Oh, well, that's nice of you to say. I, I shaved it and shaved my head just for you today so that you could see that I am as ugly as you remember. Yeah, I've been talking about you on the stream because I was telling people that I, some of this game is a blur to me because I don't remember it, and then the parts I do remember are from you and Barry uh, uh, playing the, the game and, I, and the episodes I've caught of your show while you played it. I think the bilge is this way, right? Like we gotta take the elevator down. Elevator down. You on here, thigh high? I'm gonna call you thigh high from now on. Because for some reason you feel like showing you're off your leg. It's only a train ride away. Oh, okay, cool. Uh oh. Here we go, current time, bilge passageway. Come on, Chris, come on, get in there. Save them. Save them. John, miss ya. Martian Cat, what's up? Welcome back. Cat in the house. Alright. Come on, Chris. 
You can do this. Yeah, we don't have the reader. Duh, seek. Uh, hey, Joe, hey, fam, Martian, what's up? All the love in the chat. Thank you all for being here once again. Jumps. <laughs> Martian, thanks for being here. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you had fun at NYCC, Joe. We're looking forward to your video um, telling us about your day. And thank you for continuing to post Instagram posts. It won't move. Great. Now's not the time, Seek. Boom. Boom. Oh, he did. Oh, he alive. Got him right in the neck, right as he collapsed. I mean... I'm confused though, like, shouldn't we be f filling up with water? Or is it just that room? Maybe it's just that room that's filling up with water. Oh, what up? Stabby, 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 stabby. Oh, there's a little eyeball in its eye. Look at that. Right in its little face vagina. <laughs> I didn't know what else to call it. <laughs> It, ooh. Don't stop shooting. I didn't know what else to say. I was gonna say it's it has an it has an eye for, for clitoris. It has an eye for a clitoris. Ooh. Oh what up? How dare you? How dare you? There we go. Stabby, stabby. Um, mouth hole? <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, Joe says, yeah, I'm pretty much just social mediaing my time there. I haven't picked up anything yet, but I've got my eye on a couple things. Nice, dude. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at work tomorrow, I think, at 3 p.m. I'm going to see if I can try to schedule my lunch for around, or my next, maybe my break at 3 p.m. Um... Uh, DC Comics is going to live stream on YouTube their uh, their panel for the Doomsday Clock, which is like their new comic book coming out in November by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. So I'm, I'm interested to see what they do, where they're kind of merging the Watchmen universe in with DC Comics. Um, well, I think I realized the problem. No. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes. Take that. Uppercut to the f f face. Hands. Is that herb still over here? Yeah, where's all the water going? Maybe it's, I guess it's draining from here into the bottom. Because when we were Jill, we were, like, thigh-high in water. Oh, yeah, look at that. There we go. So got 10% for that? Nice. 1%. Okay, can't win them all. The is around there. Hurry! 
All right, here we go. Echo. No barking. No thank you. This doesn't look like it's full of water. Nobody home. Where'd you go? Oh, Joe. right. Check this out. The Queen Samarimus. Ugh. We're on the wrong boat. We're on the wrong boat! Alright. Wrong boat, Chris! Wrong boat! And now it's 11.43. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, crap. This is not good. There must be some way. All right, diving. My new best friend, diving. How do we know when we're going to drown, though? I feel like we should know that. Oh, wait, what's that? I know that door's closed. Oh, what's that? Um, find a way to get it open. Don't we have a screwdriver? Maybe? Crap. Oh, there we go. A pipe. Sweet. No. Swim better. Come on, pipe. Work your magic. Oh, jeez. Well, crap. She's swearing now. Is there another pipe? Another pipe! Isn't that uh, Joshua from uh, Resident Evil 6? When he's like telling you to duck? Another pipe! Alright, we got another pipe. Sweet. Swim better! <laughs> LOL. Diving underwater in video games gives me the heebie-jeebies, yo, but I really like Abzu, so I don't even know what's up. Con hashtag contradiction. <laughs> Abzu's a good game. Thanks, John Lee, we got a chance to play it. You good, Parker? Thanks for helping me, by the way. Under the water. A little close for comfort. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I just straight up started by throwing an electrical bomb. Oh. And grenade. Rifle ammo. What are you? Shotgun ammo. Oh, we can hold more shoddy ammo. Sweet. It's still filling up. Power's back. We can bring down a bulkhead in the control room. Alright, looks like we're going out. I really wanted to grab that thing. Whoa! Oh yeah, hey, look! Stab! 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 Glitches make me smile sometimes. Sometimes they don't. Stay down.
Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Yes. Glitch. Sure, it takes a while, but honestly, if I had to run around and try to shoot this thing, it would take longer because my aim sucks. And uh, I know I don't have to kill them, but it just feels so good to get revenge. After all the times those things have killed me on the 3DS version and the 360 version, it's nice to just exploit this glitch of stabbing. <laughs> A lot of cutscenes in this episode. Dun dun right. dun. That should hold us for now. I'll check the control system. Echo. Hold me. The glitch of stabbing is my new metal band. <laughs> it's on the observation deck. Maybe we can fix it. I'm sure the view is nice. Me too. Let's move. Wait, what was it? You climb up there from the hall. All right, door shut. We're okay. So we're going to go up to the observation deck and fix the antenna. Ooh, damage two, huh? We should move this. Here, let's get a handgun. Is that still the strongest handgun? It sure is. We're gonna switch damages. And then we'll put uh, the other damage on this one. Sweet. Cool. Uh, John Lee, it sounds like a great metal band, and you should submit it to uh, fakepunkbands.com. Alex Wilson will uh, <laughs> see if he wants to make a shirt out of it. It's okay, the bulkhead's closed. We just have cool. to wait. Oh, shoot! Well, it worked. It just killed me, too. It not didn't kill me, but it hurt. Like a mo. Like a mofo. Alright. This place doesn't look like it's filling up with water. We still don't have that card? Seriously, man? Echo, I need you to go find me the card reader card thing. Pronto, Tonto. No. We're on the Queen Samiramis. Yep. You're on the wrong boat. God dang it, Chris. Okay, well, Quint learned there were two ships during his investigation. You must be on the Queen's Zenobia system. And they did plan an Easter egg earlier when, right when we started the game, ship. we read like a, a thing that said something about the Zenobia having no. a sister ship. It was like a really subtle um, nod right? to right. this. It's possible that up until a few hours ago, the ships were traveling together. Go, Echo, Sierra, do the thing. He's eating right now. Back. Good boy, Echo. Eat that food. Good boy. Go ahead, eat that food. <laughs> He's just like staring at me like, I'm, I am going to eat this food. Shut up. All right. So that's that way. Let's go this way. I think this brings us back into the boat. I mean, what am I looking for? 
How can I live without you? Got this elevator here, bro. Didn't this bring us back up into the boat? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. I don't think we need to go that way. <laughs> yeah, that just brings us to uh, Jessica. I mean, Rachel. Like, the area Rachel was in. There's nothing over there. There's, like, no route from there out to the, um... To the where we need to go. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I'm glad he said something, because uh, that was, like, a clue of, like, hey, you're going the wrong way. But I wish he would have been a little bit more direct, like, uh, it's this way. <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, they're they're trying to change their name to Velcro. We haven't seen Hyde That's their big master plan. <laughs> they're like, someone mispronounced our terrorist name group on the news, and so we've decided to send some other members that were in deep hiding out into the world again to remind them that it's Velcro. Velcro is the name of our group. And once again, but we sent a guy out who gets his C's and his T's mixed up because he's an old man and he took his mask off and said Veltro <laughs> and so now we gotta go kill him and correct our mistake <laughs> once again wouldn't that be awesome if that was like the plan of the bad guys <laughs> yep so yep Chris definitely on a, just in a different boat man unbelievable Chris I can't rely on you for anything that's okay. Jill don't need no man to save her. Mm-mm. Except for that time where I was almost a Jill sandwich. That's like that's my sassy Jill Valentine. Did you hear that? Yeah. We've heard a lot of strange noises in this game. That's the one that's gonna rock your world. Um, the power is back on us, so we should be able to do this. this way, Jill. Hey, which way? Oh, here? Okay. It's moving. Good. Now we can get to the observation deck. Wasn't there an area we had to go back to? Didn't we like put on turn on some gas or something or clear out the room of gas and Wait, what the Oh. What the heck? Oh yeah, no. But you stand there and do nothing though, please. For me. It's like an... What the heck? Am I even hurting it? Hey, Parker, stand there and do nothing. Dang it. Well, this is about to get crappy. Jeez, I just got the willies there. <laughs> the plan is all around punctuations of names. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks for backing me up on that one. All right, finally here. And it's night out, so there's nothing to see. Stop complaining, dude. We almost died. 
Uh, let's switch that out with that. So we have some actual ammo. And... Yeah, just wing it with the handgun, I guess. Oh, joy. This looks like a room for a boss fight. Luther's explodey cans. What are you? Nothing. Oh, jeez. Get up, dude. Hey, don't even try dodging. That's cool, bro. I don't know. How is it even alive? Oh, this is gonna suck. Shoot. Oh, we can yes, more rifle ammo. Oh, dang. That hurt. Bring it on, jerk. Dodge, what are you doing? Dang it. Why won't you dodge? Dang it, come on. What the hell, man? Dodge! Well, this gun isn't working. I don't like the sniper. Oops, I threw that right next to Numb Nuts. Oof. Get lucky. Is that like a head on the back of it? Yeah, it is. It's got like, ugh, it's like two heads, something. that rib there. Oh. Let's run. Oof. Yeah, dude. Oh, we did it. I think. What the hell happened to it? What a <laughs> John Lane. Yeah, nice. that thing sucked. I can't believe how much uh, dodging I didn't do. <laughs> Jill, we need to repair the antenna first. All right, all right, you harpy. Hey, you can scan it like numerous times. I forgot. Nice. This thing is really disgusting looking. 
Yeah, I wasn't a fan of it not letting me dodge. <laughs> but luckily I was like, alright, I'll just use the corners over there. Jeez. Where are you? Veltro key card! Oh, finally. Bunch of jerks. All right, let's do some reading. Veltro Agent's Journal, 2004. We are at last putting our final plan into action. Jack Norman, our leader and brother in arms, came up with this plan. When we first heard it, we had our doubts that it could even be pulled off. But now the time has come to enact this extraordinary plan thanks to the steel will of comrades and the one who supported our ideals with his power and influence. He has prepared these ships for our use. These luxury liners are symbols of the degradation of humanity and will be fitting vessels for the distribution of the virus that will purge humanity. I have been assigned the task of boarding the Queen Zenobia for our mission. Signed, Bernard Cordy. Um, oh, my doggo is laying across my lap and trying to pull, put his head on my phone to sleep. Oh, <laughs> nice job. Uh, 2004, 12 hours until mission start. My body's trembling and I can't stop it. It could be the excitement or fear or both. Strange biological organisms created by the virus are m milling around the secret lab in the bilge. The virus can be dissolved in water, so anyone who drinks that water will turn into a monster. The hunter-type B.O.W. was infected off-site and will, be spre uh, will spread the virus on land. The decadent eyesore that is the floating city will soon be turned into a veritable hell on earth. We must bring hell to the people or the scales will not fall from their eyes. This is how Norman phrased it. If that grizzled financier of ours believes in Norman, then we who serve him must do so as well. Bernard Cordy. Wow, these guys are fucking crazy. It says there's something in here to scan, but maybe it's out here. It is not. Wait, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We got a lot more than we bargained for on this ship. Yeah. We've been fighting for our lives this whole time. <laughs> I hope we can catch our breaths after checking in with HQ. Can't get that. Oh, what up, handprint? I'll check the antenna's wiring. Screwdriver. Activate. I think that should do it. I'll give it a shot. I hope it works. This is Vermilion. Headquarters. Do you read? O'Brien here. Are you hey, all right. Oof. It. Boss, it's Parker. Shit hit the fan here. It hit really hard. I know. The whole thing was a setup, and we fell for it. Yeah, we did. How do you know? Well, it's pretty obvious there was a fake Chris. Say something. There was a fake Chris there that brought you there, so. Just stay put. I've got an emergency call. No, wait. Director O'Brien, we received an emergency call from the ESF. They've reported satellite movement. The European Security Force. Go on. Yes, sir. Apparently, Who's this? Solar energy integrator is being reactivated. Oh, crap. In motion, are we? So that thing that generated the or reflected the power of the sun down on Terra Grigia and burnt it to crisp? Yeah, that thing's being aimed somewhere not good, I'm sure. Somebody's found a Queen Zenobia. 
they're aiming it where the sun don't shine. Oh, it's too good. Hey, oh. O'Brien's reading Dante. You have changed a bit. Oh, snap. Parker, HQ. What's going on? All hell's about to break loose. The solar energy matrix has activated. They're aiming at the Veltro hideouts on the Mediterranean, disguised as cruise ships. Oh, crap. The satellites that destroyed Terra Grigia are right above us. They can't just ignore the ultimatum and obliterate the ship. Boss, get us out of here. Dude, get us out of there. But I can't authorize that. What? Cliffhanger! <laughs> All right. Well, that's where we're going to have to end tonight. Episode 6. We're at the halfway point of this game. So, uh, yeah, a lot of content for 20 bucks. I remember when this game first came out, though, it was like a $40 game or $50 game or something for the 3DS. Uh, but And then I remember everyone got mad that Revelations 2 was only like $24.99 if you bought the season pass. I think it was like 20 and you got all four episodes. And they're like, oh, it's only four episodes and each one's like two hours long. It's not nearly as long as this game. It's like, yeah, but this game was twice the price when it first came out. So um, anyway, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'm excited. We will play more of this, but we'll just have to do it another night. If you're watching later on YouTube or on Twitch when we re-upload this, thanks for supporting the channel. Hopefully you're following me on here. Hopefully you're subscribed to me on YouTube. All those links are down below or in the description box. And uh, we'll just see you in the future. Thanks for watching. Peace.